Good job, much on our video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I pick up at SneakerCon Dallas. Now, I know SneakerCon Dallas was like a, literally a, a whole week ago or a little bit longer, but look, I'm here now, so it matters. Now, before I unbox what I got at SneakerCon, I'm going to need y'all to do me a quick favor. Click on the description to the video. Yes, here, right here. Click on the description. And y'all go subscribe to my boy Last King Audi. He finally dropped his first video. Y'all go watch that video. Y'all go subscribe to him. About 24 hours after I upload this, I want to see him have like about 10 or 12 subscribers. So y'all go support him. Um, if y'all have any ideas, if, he, if he's down to clap on some videos, if y'all have any suggestions, go ahead and feel free to comment down below. So now, into what I got. So, it's, I'm going to go, uh, I've been wanting the shoes, as I'll see from the title, I've wanted these shoes for like five years. Um, I first saw them, I was in 8th grade from in the 2014-2015 school year. I'm upstairs, and I'm, I'm in the upstairs hallway, and I look down this guy's shoes, and he's got these shoes on. Now, not this particular pair, because these came out again, but it's literally basically, basically the same shoe. I see these shoes, and I'm like, bruh, those are so damn nice. These are literally my second favorite shoe of all time. My, my number two, when it comes to my, my top five grills, my top five favorite shoes of all time, this is number two. And that is three, two, one, black metallic fives. Now, this is the 2016 pair. Let's show real quick. Wait, other, yeah, there we go. There I go, all black new book upper, Nike Air branding on the back for you high beats out there. Me personally, I don't give a damn if it's Jumpman or Nike Air. Now me personally as a sneakerhead, I actually appreciate the Nike Air and the history to it whenever the, the sho whenever these shoes, shoes first dropped back in 1990. Obviously the best part of the whole shoe, that silver 3M tone with that red Jumpman. These shoes are too nice, got your lace lock right there, clear translucent one with a red one inside of it. That keeps the laces locked intact. It's a shark teeth, silver shark teeth with black speckles. Nike branding on the bottom. And yes, yellow soles. Yellow soles. Oh well, who cares? All all icy soles are translucent soles. They all yellow over time, literally. So like, it's like who who cares? Who, who, who gives a damn, bro? Ain't nobody care, bro. But yeah, here they are. Here are they are the black metallic fives. So I'm going to give a quick run on how I got these shoes and for at what price. So I'm walking around Sneaker Con. Um, so I was at the event about 30, 45 or an hour after the event started. I mean, right? I had $107 on me. Obviously, I'm looking to get a pair of shoes for a decent, some decently worn shoes for a, a decent price. So I'm walking around. The first pair of shoes I saw were these Air Max 95s. Now, if I can. I should be able to find them. If I find them, I'm going to show y'all a picture right here, here, or the whole screen. But So, yeah, those are the Air Max 95s that I saw. Now, they weren't in the best condition, and they, but they weren't in terrible condition. They, they was decent. They was all right. They were more towards the, they were more towards like a 6 or a 7 when it comes to condition out of 10. Uh, more towards like a 6, six out of 10 or a 7 out of 10. Um, it was a nice shoe, honestly. I like Air Maxes. Um, I got my first pair of the 180 Pink Blast, which, by the way, the Air Max 180 is a super underrated model, in my opinion. So yeah, that's my first. That's my uh, one and only pair of Air Maxes that I own. Anyways, these Air Max, 90, these Air Max 95s, they're about eighty-five dollars, I believe. So I was like, you know what? I'm I'm not gonna go ahead and pull the trigger right now and just buy these because. What if, I, what if I did buy these shoes, right? And I walk around and I see something else like, yo, I want these, yo, these are really nice. I want these way more than these. But damn, it's too late. I already bought them. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm going to be patient. Plus I knew damn well, like, no one's going to buy these, to be honest. No one's going to buy them. So I wasn't even tripping about that. I wasn't worried. So if I didn't find anything that I liked, I was just going to go back to that table and buy the Air Max 95s. So walking around, doing laps, checking people's tables out, picking up shoes, looking at them, asking about prices and what, asking for the prices. Uh, second shoe I saw, the next shoe I saw, Sport Blue Sixes. Now these were a size of, I believe 11 or 10 and a half. I think, um, I don't know. It was an half for 11. I'm gonna go and say, 
I'm gonna go ahead and say, say 11. I don't know. 10 and a half for 11. Sport Blue 6s. These things, bruh, damn near like A1 condition, bruh. Now, for the Sport Blue 6s, they tend to, pr the is, for that kind of leather on those shoes, they tend to crease kind of easily. But, bruh, for those shoes, for the price for a worn pair, they didn't even seem creased at, like that. Like, on, to be honest, they didn't even seem like all the, too bad. They didn't even seem badly. They didn't even seem creased all that bad. But me personally, I don't care for creases. Oh well, it happens in the shoes. But obviously, I'm not going to pick up a pair. I'm not going to pick up some shoes that are like super, like heavily, like creased. You know. But I see the shoes. I'm. I go. And this guy has a pretty good table of a bunch of shoes for a, around the price that I, um, I needed around like a hundred. 80, 90. So I see the Sport Blue 6 is in my size. So I'm like looking around the other shoes across the table. He has a bunch of shoes in a pretty good condition for the for my price range of what I'm trying to buy. Of, or for my price range of the money that I had on me. And so I go to the other side of the table and literally, literally, I'll, I, and literally this guy that was standing by me with like two of his friends or whatever, this guy literally picks up the shoe. I'm sitting there waiting. I'm like, all right, I'm going to say you're going to wait. And see if it gets or not. This dude ends up trying the shoes on. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hope they don't fit him, so then I can pick him up. So then he literally takes them off. I don't even try them on. He takes them off. He asks the guy for like, because I think the guy was the, um, his asking price was like 80, but like the guy was like, can you do 75? And he's like, yeah. So, so yeah, I'll see lay on those. I couldn't buy him. He walked away with the shoes. I didn't. So I'm like, oh well. I said. So I'm like, damn, like I was like pit. I was like, damn, this dude really went and bought the shoes. Like I turn like I literally set the shoe down and I go to get some other shoes on the right side of the table for a few, for literally just like a quick minute. And then he goes and picks the damn shoes up and tries them on, ends up buying the damn shoes for $75. So I'm like, so I walk away, I'm like, damn. I'm thinking myself, yo, should I go should I ask him, yo, should I go up to him um and uh I was like, should I go up to him and, and uh, buy him off of him for like ninety or ninety five or a hundred off of him? I'm like, and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm I'm just gonna keep walking around. I'm I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna see what there is. So I keep walking around, and about I would say maybe like an hour, an hour and a half later, I end up coming to this table, and I see the black metallic fives. Now I honestly thought that the price on these were gonna be much more than what the guy said they were because both of these shoes dude besides the sole the yellow sole and besides this look this is the only major serious flaw to this whole shoe besides the yellow besides the soles being yellowed is this right here it seems like the new book has been like just has been like I don't know distressed off scratched off but that didn't bother me too much. I mean, it's literally like in the inside part of the shoe. It's the outside part. Like, that doesn't bother me. This doesn't bother me, like, at all. And, let me just go ahead, bro. Slight creasing. I've worn these about three times since I've got them. Also, this, this shocked me, too. So, I could tell these were only worn a few times because of this right here. The Nike Air is literally still intact. This kind of stuff, if you own a pair of Jordans or some shoes with, with or Nikes with stuff like this inside of it, you know that after some wear, it tends to peel off of the shoe. Both shoes, the Nike Air is still intact. So I could tell just by that alone that these were only worn a few times. Plus the yellow sole, like, like there's literally nothing wrong with this shoe. So... Pick the shoe up. I look at it for a little bit. I look at it for about like I don't know, like up to like a minute. I look at, I'm looking at the shoe. And I ask him how much. So after I'm, so after I'm looking at this shoe for about a minute, I ask the guy how much, and he says a hundred and ten. I'm thinking my I'm thinking in my head a hundred and ten. Dude, I got a hundred and seven on me right now. I can get these, bro. I can get this shoe. I can ask for a little bit of a lower price. I can get these easily. So. Now this this is the part where I'm stu I, I don't know I don't know I don't know why I threw this number out this threw this weird random ass number out I had 107 dollars on me I thought I had 106 at the time um, I, I was like would you do 106 all got me is 106 and, uh, all got me is 
Oh, I said 106, yeah. I asked him, would you do 106? All I got on me is 106. And he's like, yes, I'm sure. So he took he takes about like a minute or two to find their box. All, by the way, these are a replacement box. These are for some size 10 uh, white grape pies from 2013. 2013, damn, it's been six years since white grape pies came out. Damn, that's crazy to say that. Wow. I remember back in like seventh grade when kids was wearing, seventh and eighth grade when kids was wearing that shoe. That's crazy. Anyways. I threw his random number out. I'm uh, like, would you 106? And, I, and he was like, yeah, it's cool. So he got the shoe. He found. It took him about like, it took him about like, like two minutes or two and a half minutes to find the other shoe, the other box for him. And now I already knew the shoe was legit. You know me. I I know, I, I know my bro. When it comes, bro, when it comes to this sneaker, when it comes to this sneaker shit, bro, don't play, bro. Don't you can test my knowledge all you want. Like, don't play with me, bro. Like, bro. I got so much knowledge on shoes, it's not even funny. Uh, specific, specifically, specifically Jordan, specifically Jordan's particular. So I, I, so I already knew the shoes was legit, but I was being extra, 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 extra sure that they were legit. I went in line at SneakerCon and got them legit checked, and I went ahead and cut, I cut this thing off because I don't need to walk around with this thing attached to my shoes, show people that my shoes are for real. Right there, legit tag. Now these things are pretty damn cool. They're actually NFC compatible. And what you can do if you have an iPhone, things like six something and higher. If you have an iPhone six and higher, you can download the SneakerCon app, scan this thing, and it'll show you what shoe you got, what size, and like all that. It'll give you information on the shoe, and then you can like add it to like your collection of like stuff that you got legit checked and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's about it. So. Black Metallic Fives, my second favorite shoe of all time. Got it for a hundred and six dollars, man. A hundred and six dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna be very, very, very careful with these shoes. Pretty sure I'll end up buying a dead stock, a dead stock pair of these eventually one day. But until then, I got these to wear. So yeah, Black Metallic Fives, a hundred and six dollars. That is it for this video. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.